Hey everyone, it's Josh Elbow, and I got a question on my YouTube channel by multiple people, which was slightly concerning, but we're still gonna fix it either way. And the question was in regards to when you're drop shipping on Mercari or when, you, when you're selling something on Mercari that you don't have the inventory for itself. How do you pay for the product when Mercari holds your money um, until the person that you're selling it to gets the thing? And the simple answer for this is you get a credit card. Depending on how much you're selling a month on Mercari, you could set up a LLC for it and then you'd there'd be multiple benefits. Depending on if you're, if you're doing like, let's say a thousand plus a month, because after that you'll still be doing 12,000 a year. Um, and you'll need to like be claiming that in some form or some way or fashion. But let's say you're doing a thousand bucks a month, anywhere from one to five to 20 K a month. I would say potent, if you're doing more than a thousand bucks and you've already done 10 grand plus total, set up an LLC for it if you haven't yet. And then get a business credit card for that. Chase does a really good job with setting this up. I'm sure Wells Fargo does a good job too. Um, and then you'll get anywhere from thousand, ten grand, twenty, fifty grand, depending on how your credit is, and because they link between your business and your personal credit, they put that together. I believe. Don't. Uh, don't. I'm not positive, but I believe this is how it works. They check your credit score, and then let's say you'll get a ten or twenty thousand dollar line of credit usually have an intro rate of 0% APR for the first 12 or 18 months. So you'll be paying 0% interest and it doesn't affect your personal credit, I believe. I'm like 90% sure if you do, if it's Chase Visa, it doesn't affect your personal credit. So you could pay, you could take out a $20,000 line of credit uh, on your credit card and potentially only be paying 25 bucks a month. I wouldn't just go run up the credit line, obviously, but you could potentially be paying very, very little for the first 12 months, 18 months, and then pay it off in full when the time comes. Not necessarily a good habit to have. I always say pay, pay your, uh, you always wanna pay your credit card off in full immediately as much as you can because then when the intro rate is up, you'll be paying 18 or 25% or 32%, like some ridiculous uh, interest rate. So you wanna pay it off in full every time, but we'll go back to the, the topic of the video. Get a credit, even if it's a personal credit card, get a credit card. Mercari is going to hold the money from the buyer that's purchasing your item until they receive the item, they rate it, you rate them back, and then they send you the money and then you can put it in your bank account. It takes a couple days. Let's say that transaction takes three days. Let's say it takes another two days to get into the bank account. So altogether, let's say a week to be safe. Mercari is going to hold the money and you're going to have to find a way to buy this thing. So you take your credit card, which is net 30. So you have 30 days versus seven days to pay off the credit card. You purchase the item that you're drop shipping with your credit, and this works for all, all drop shipping type things. Purchase the item that you're shipping with, because PayPal is the exact same way. Purchase the item with your credit card. Send it to the person, whether you send them the invoice or it's through Mercari and they just pay through there. Do it all on your credit card because it's thir you have 30 days to pay that off in full. And let's say I recommend doing paying the credit card off six to 10 days before it's due so that you don't forget and there's no late fees and all that stuff. But that way, let's say you sell a hundred dollar item, you put a, you buy it on your credit card. Mercari is going to pay you out the money that um, Mercari is going to pay you out the money from the buyer, and then when you transfer it to your bank account, you use that to pay your credit card off. If you know, if you don't have a bank account set up, because um, I know you need a bank account unless you're just on Mercari specifically, you need a bank account to deposit the money into, unless you're just buying new things on there. I could make a video. Uh, you'd probably be better off just Googling how to set up a bank account. You just show up at the bank and say, hey, I want to make a bank account. Every single one there, the customer service is going to be like, oh, well, because uh, the banks are there to make money and they make money by holding your money and then lending it out to people at an interest rate. So if you don't have a bank account, uh, you just go to the bank, any bank, Chase. I wouldn't go to BOA, but go to any bank. They'll be able to set you up. And then they can also set you up with a credit card. If you need to get a credit card, go to www.comparecards.com and it'll have all the different type of options. Um, I personally like the high cash back ones as well as the ones with the 0% APR uh, intros. And I'm gonna do another video on how I bought a $15,000 car for 25 bucks a month, including the price of insurance and then made money when I sold it, technically. But that's gonna be a separate video. So I hope this answered your question. If it doesn't, feel free to reach out again. My Instagram is at the Josh Elbow. I'm usually the best way to get a hold of me is to DM me on there. If this answered your question, if it's got this resolved for you, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like the video so then it'll help the algorithm and other people, because this is like a common question. So if other people see that uh, this video, if you like and subscribe, and then I think you have to turn the notification with the bell on too. And if you have any other questions, yeah. Um, also, my email is summitsme at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of me real quick too.
Till next time.